This short tutorial will walk you step by step on how to add fonts in an iPad. If you're into digital planning or love taking notes digitally, knowing how to access and download fonts can really level up your layouts and make everything look more personalized and polished. So let's cut it short and start with the process. The first thing that you want to do is download the iFont application from your App Store. I already have it installed, so I will just open it up. So this is a font management app that allows you to install fonts for free from popular websites like Google Fonts and others. It is important to note that some fonts may be free for personal use, but require a commercial license for commercial purposes if you download them from sites apart from the Google Fonts. I prefer Google Fonts because they are released under open source licenses, meaning you can use them in any non-commercial or commercial project without paying anything. So now to download the fonts, go to the Google Fonts section from the menu. You can find trending fonts by sorting them up using the trending or popularity tag. Or if you are looking for a specific font, you can directly search it up using the search bar. Once you have selected the font you want to download, click the Get button to start the import process. Then, head over to the Imported Fonts section to view the font family you just added. From here, click on the Install button and then tap on Continue. Now, allow the pop-up that is attempting to download the configuration file for that specific font onto your iPad. You are not done yet. You still need to follow one final step. Navigate to the VPN and Device Management section in the General Settings on your iPad. You'll see your downloaded font here, just underneath this Downloaded Profile section. Tap on it and click on the Install button. Enter your passcode and click Install once again. Once the font is installed, a Profile Installed pop-up will appear, confirming that the font has been successfully added to your iPad. To test and use the newly installed font, I will use my digital planner, which I will also leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description in case you are interested. I have opened the planner in the GoodNotes app. Here, just navigate to the text tool and search the font that you have just installed. So it is right there. Tap on it to start writing in that font right away. And that's it. This is how you can download and start using custom fonts on your iPad in just a few steps. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on digital planning, note taking, and iPad tips. Also, if you want to try out the digital planner I used in this video or other digital goods, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description below. See you in the next video.